Hey guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Shield Hero episode 12. So as I talked about last episode, I just got done watching that episode, so I am completely fresh going into this. But since it has been a week for you guys, let's talk about what happened last time. So we had the start of the wave, which was very cool stuff. Um, we got a lot of good action-y stuff going on, which was a lot of fun. We had Naofumi manually activating his rage shield, which was very interesting, and taking on the aspect of the dragon that they had disposed of the body of, and in, uh, in what well, came back as a zombie, they killed it and then disposed the body of, um, taking its core into Naofumi, or part of its core. Um, he utilized that thing as a rage, which I had a lot of questions about that in my discussion. You guys can go check that out if you want to hear more about my thoughts on that. And, uh, and yeah, I'm very interested to to see what's going to happen next. We also had them, you know, now for me, badassingly be the only one able to single-handedly take down one of the, what seemed to be the boss of the wave, but it wasn't, because after they took it down, this lady with fans showed up named Glass. And I am very, very curious as to more, like, lore as to why she's there, like, who she is, is she human, is she, you know, like, what What are these waves, like, what's the lore behind these waves, I really want to know more of that stuff, so, um, yeah, I, and I'm worried, because they struggled so hard to take down this little underling that she said was nothing, how are they gonna fend off against this lady, you know, so, the only way to find out how they're going to do it is by watching the episode, right? So, let's jump into it. Alrighty, full length, we're going to start the episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Oh, the pirate ship! Arg! There she blows! And there's glass. Yes. Yeah, she did. <laughs> oh, boy. Shall we begin the true battle? Alright, still no opening change. I know that's coming up. I apologize. I, I forget what episode it was, but... Do, do, do. Might be the last time, honestly, like, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these two core shows have their new opening, um, after either episode 12 or episode 13, depending on the, uh, the show is usually around there, so it's very possible that 13 is gonna be the new opening and stuff, so, so next week when we watch this, I'll be, I'll be skipping this bit. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> crazy how much Raftali has grown up. You really see it when you watch this opening. Question mark, question mark, level, oh shit! And it was, like, glitching out, which is interesting. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're gonna get wrecked.
I wonder if their weapons have any kind of, like, rage mode type of thing, or if it's just, like, a shield hero protagonist power. Oh boy. I'm sure this is gonna do absolutely nothing. I'm sure in the first minute of the episode, or a couple minutes of the episode, they're not gonna do... <laughs> defeat her. Yeah. She just <laughs> brushed it off. Oh. Very elegant. Ah, oh, damn. Hit everybody but now for me? Hmm. Where did that potion come from? <laughs> All right, lock her up, and no bueno. Oh shit, Raftalia, be careful, Philo, be careful. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Jeez. Oh, she's. <sighs> Jesus Christ. She's just showing off. Flaunting her power. Oh no, our new sword! Oh shit. They're gonna cover themselves? Yo. Gonna break it? Probably? <laughs> she just wants a good fight. Oh, is Raftalia giving permission for the rage? What are we going to hear this time? Oh, boy. <clears throat> Dragon armor again. There's Philo hulking out again. I'm super curious about what that's about. Oh no, Philo! Ugh, she's just tanking it, man. How do you defeat her like this? Like, she seems like she wants a good fight. I wonder, like, here's my theory before before this goes on too far. Oh shit, what is this, though? Oh god, it went through his shield. It broke some of his armor. Fuck. My theory is that she's... Not gonna want to fight yet because she wants a good fight and she's gonna leave and come back like next wave and they need to get stronger. But I don't know. Okay, I need to get back into watching this though. <laughs> well, I didn't stop, but. <clears throat> oh. Uh. Iron Maiden again, trying that shit. Not gonna work, though, I don't think. If if she thought, she watched that happen, if she thought that could hurt her, she wouldn't let it happen. Yeah. Man. Oh, there's a time limit to the waves. Oh. Uh, 
and a blinder. Nice. Get a heal off. Running away. <laughs> Uh, is she gonna get a final attack off? Yeah. Oh shit! Dodge! Oh, uh, nice. That one was able to hold up a little bit. That's good. Oh, uh, that attack again. It went through your shield before. Can you block it this time? Ugh, he deflected it. Ugh. Good shit. Oh, yeah. So, so it wasn't the way I thought, but they are going to have to get stronger and fight again next time. And the wave is over. Alright. So, the wave has a time limit. It's not just defeating a boss. Oh, shit. That thing's still here? Oh, well, people are still alive. I wonder what the casualty rate was this time. Yeah, I saw it in the corner. Yeah, that's what I want to know! More about the waves! Yes! Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme that shit! The true battle of the wave. Yes. Oh, whatever, that creature is in his shield now. Oh, look at their health. Soul Eater Shield. Hmm. Oh, God. This guy just seems like a douchebag. Oh, they were watching? I think anyway, I'm guessing that's what this is. But who? Is it the king? Yeah, the king was watching. Oh, so it's like a recording. <laughs> oh, so he's actually... Yeah, a douchebaggery apology, but... Alright, he convinced him to go. <laughs> you were a dick and it made me mad. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's even better than what I said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. This is the best. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, now for me, you badass. Who's this random lady? Hmm. Who is this? Hmm. What was that about? I'm confused. Oh boy. Hahaha. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Yeah, I want to know that and like, why? What? Something regarding the previous shield hero, maybe? This manipulative bitch. Oh, I want Melty to just roast them. <laughs> Her face. Oh, rub that in. <laughs> the, the king just is at a loss. <sighs> oh, this lady again. Guards keeping an eye out. What is that about? Yeah, they're gonna have to go to another country. Yeah. Yeah, that was what the slave trader recommended, too. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> what he said. It'd be cool to see a country of demi-humans. We hear a lot about them, but Raptalia is really, like, one of the few we've seen. We may have got a glimpse of some other ones, but n not many if we did. Uh, yeah, her sword broke. Oh, she has a spare, what? Uh...
All right. They're speeding on along. They're going to another country to get class upgrades. Oh, what a nice, nice dude. Oh. Cool. Oh, she got a new sword anyway. Huh. Mana sword. Oh. Nice. She can probably, like, channel her mana into it and make a blade. Like, an energy blade. That'd be cool. <laughs> oh. He gave him to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. I, 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 oh, I almost said something, too. When he said free of the royalty, I almost said his Melty gonna show up. Damn it, why didn't I say it? Crap, <laughs> I would have been right. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, though. Alright, so is she gonna join him in their journey? Was she gonna, or is she just coming for a message or something? He isn't gonna do that. <laughs> oh, Melty, you're trying so hard. <laughs> She's just losing it. <laughs> what are they holding? Oh, he's watching, isn't it? Oh, oh shit, they're gonna attack multi. Jeez, what the heck? That's the end. What? <laughs> what? That's how they're gonna end it. Really? Thanks, show. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. I wasn't even. You, like, sometimes I'm paying attention, but I just wasn't paying attention at all. Like, sometimes I know what's gonna happen. That time I had no idea what the heck. Mm hmm. Do, 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 Man, it's cold out. It's like... So there's a lot of times when, uh, just a little bit about me, 
where I have my windows right here, you know, as you can tell uh, from the shades. Uh, and when it, when it gets to winter, I live in the East Coast U.S., so winter gets very cold here. And, uh, but a lot of the times, as long as I keep my windows shut and everything, um, my computer actually keeps my room fairly warm, uh, without the heat running. But right now I can, like, feel the draft coming from the window, which means it must be, like, very cold out tonight. Probably need to turn my heat on a little bit before I start editing. Alright. And looks like nothing afterwards either. Alrighty, guys, so that is the end of episode 12. That was a good episode. Um, I enjoyed that one as well. Uh, obviously, for different reasons, there wasn't as much combat. There was some. Uh, really, it was a, a showing of how OP this lady was. It was a setup for her to come back later. To display the growth of our characters, you know, like she'll she'll come back later and maybe he'll stand a little more of a chance and either maybe she will get defeated in the next wave or maybe, you know, they'll fight it out to the time limit again, but he'll be, you know, maybe even with her and they'll each take some blows and then maybe the wave after that she's finally defeated or something, but it's setting up, you know, a... Uh, a way to see the power scaling rather than just a bunch of monsters that they stab in one shot, you know, so um, really cool. I, I really look forward to more of those fights. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun seeing her just take it all and everything, and you know, I had the assumption that maybe she wanted a good fight. You know, there's some characters in shows where all they want is a challenge, you know, and that's why she was, because she went easy on him and toyed with him in the beginning, and that's what I thought she was going for. That's when I gave my theory during the episode that she might be just, uh, um, just hoping that he, he pulls through and, like, gives her the fight she wants. And maybe she'd leave and come back later when he's stronger because she wants that good fight. But instead, there's a time limit to the waves. Now... I'm guessing since the last one, the first one was defeated when the when the boss of the wave went down, my guess is there's two factors to the waves. There's the there's the boss of the wave, if you defeat that it goes down, or there's the time limit. And that's it's, it's interesting. Um and even she was like aware, you know, the time is almost up and stuff like that and and she pushed more towards like trying to beat him. And stuff like that, but it, they definitely hinted at there's more to the story, and I'm very glad that they did. You know, even though we didn't learn really anything significant about these waves and their lore and their backstory and stuff like that, we we learned that the show acknowledged the character thinking about there possibly being more, if that makes sense. Um, you know, like he was sitting there thinking, oh, you know. What what do these waves mean and everything? Which is something he didn't really think about. Uh, like, with the first one, he just fought it off and whatever. But now he's thinking about deeper meanings. I hope he tries to look into it more. You know, does more research into it. Or somehow finds out more information. Maybe next wave will learn a bit more from the the girl and stuff like that. But I am fascinated. I'm These last two episodes have been a lot of fun. It's basically, like, a lot of what I wanted out of this show and uh as much as i've been loving the the show up until up until this point these last two episodes were absolutely like you know above and beyond uh for for me i i really enjoyed them um not to say i didn't in, not enjoy the other ones but yeah uh but yeah so that was just like the beginning bit and then you know the king wanted to see him he he ended up going cuz his little uh his new guard buddy uh, that's in his party convinced him to go. And basically, the king attempted to reconcile, which it seemed like that's what... like It seemed like Melty talked to him before and told him that he needs to. But then instead of, like, praising him for what he did, he, he did it in, like, a condescending way. And then also, like, made the whole reason he wanted him there to learn more about his power and, like, because they want, you know, that power. They want to abuse it if they can, you know. They want to learn how he got 
so strong, and I, I just love how Naofumi just threw it back in his face and was just like, oh yeah, you want me to tell you? Then bow, grovel to me, you know? And I love how he just doesn't... Like, the king... In my opinion, for a king to rule and be... and have people devoted to him, he needs to do stuff that... uh deserves the devotion you know like i don't think a king should be i don't think a king should be in power and be worshipped just because he has the title of king he should do it because his people love him you know like he's you know the hero that saved them from some tragedy in the past or something but i will say all this talk about bad about the king we did learn a tiny, tiny smidgen of why he doesn't like the shield hero. He said he'd be able to save his family this time, or something along those lines. Which implies to me that it's potentially the previous shield hero, which I thought they said was would have been way before his lifetime. But maybe there were other waves in his lifetime and the shield hero did something that caused his family to die. Either the last shield hero gave into the raid shield, possibly, and killed his family, or the like he just didn't defend them enough or something, and they died in battle, and he blames the shield hero. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's enough for him to blame now for me too, in in this version of him. So that's interesting. It kind of makes me want to go back to the beginning and learn and reread how they described this world and how they described this, you know, predestined waves system and, and figure out, like, when they mentioned the last one was. Because I think they mentioned a date, but I can't remember when. I, I For some reason, I thought it was before any of, like... I thought it was, like, folk stories, you know, like... Passed down from generation, these stories that have been down and down and down and down, and uh, and this king just heard about them. I didn't realize like this. This episode implies that it was in his lifetime, and the previous shield hero did something, unless Naufumi did something to his family that we don't know about, and Naufumi doesn't know about or something somehow. I don't know how that would work, but I don't know. It's interesting. I really want to know more about that. That was another thing that I talked about quite a few episodes ago is I want to know why the king has it out for now for me. Like, why? And, like, Miney as well. Why? Like, what is it about him compared to the other heroes that they just are so against? And we got a little glimpse out of this episode, but not not enough, you know? Um, but, yeah. We also had the lady in the dress who seemed to walk by and talk to uh, Melty. So I'm guessing maybe it's one of like the ninjas that follow Melty around or the queen around, like coming in to talk to now for me, but not in their like normal attire. I don't know what she was about. She talked like she like he even made a point that her uh, the way she talked was very royal you know it seemed like so i don't know who she could be and she seemed to like i said back when we had like the guard like peeking around the corner she was talking to melty so i don't know if that means she's one of melty's subordinates keeping an eye on things or or what but interesting but yeah melty is just trying to mend the relationship although she she kind of like stood up to her father a bit, but she's still a kid, and she still gets intimidated by, you know, some things you can tell, um, and, and all that, but, and she tried to get now for me to go back and apologize, which she shouldn't, like, she's not doing the best job at mediating, but she's trying, you know, um, I get it, uh, but, I wonder, so, they... The guards are staging something to take out um, Melty. Now, 
Based off the way the king treated Melty, I can't imagine the king has any part of this. I imagine it's Miney who's butthurt at the fact that Melty is the the crown princess. Um and is trying to take her out, and that would get, you know, they could blame it on now for me, and then she would be the crown princess. So it's killing two birds with one stone, you know? Uh, I don't know how they thought that would work, though. Like, did they really think that Naofumi would let that happen? Like, they made it so obvious. Like, they could have at least done it in, like, a stealthier manner. I don't know. But I thought, uh, I don't know what they were holding. They didn't, like, Naofumi just realized that something was up. But it seemed like they might have been holding the crystal ball kind of thing, like, earlier in the episode the king had. Uh, so someone might have been watching and, like, ordering them from the other side, you know, or something like that. I don't know. And, yeah, I mean, my guess is Miney. The way the king acted with, uh, with Melty, it seems like, you know, it's his daughter. He does care about her, you know. So, he just, like, is trying to handle his kids and he's, like, very distraught at them, like, arguing with each other. He's like, oh. <laughs> when they were, like, arguing with each other, didn't know what to do. Um, but... But, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and then I guess the the other big part of the story this episode was just more stuff on their class upgrades. They're headed to uh, Shield Frieden, which I'm very excited about. They're headed to the, uh, the demi-human country that is very accepting of humans. And uh, I just hope... We might have some stuff if they find out that Raftalia is a slave, if they're gonna be angry about that, but, I mean, Raftalia will be there to be like, hey, I, I wanted this, you know? The, the slave contract was removed and I had it put back, you know? So I feel like we won't get too much drama, but I wonder if there will be a little bit, you know? But either way, I'm very much excited to see the, uh the demi-human country because like i said during the episode we haven't seen a lot of demi-humans uh if any other than raftalia i'm not sure i can't remember if we've seen more but i'm sure there's a lot of different designs for them and um, i'm looking forward to that and getting some other character designs other than just raftalia and stuff like that so that'll be a lot of fun they're gonna get their class upgrade and they also have these the hourglasses too, which is interesting. I wonder, I wonder what's up with that. Why, why does every country have them, but this is the country that summoned heroes? You know, like how does that relate to everything? You know, and also is do these waves only attack this country, or are these waves even attacking like the entire planet, like all the countries? Like, does Shield Frieden get attacked then? Like, if they have a if they have a, an hourglass too, that's, the hourglass is the countdown to the waves, right? So does that mean they get attacked as well? And, like, does it just... I mean, I guess they get they get teleported to the boss, but they don't get teleported back, right? So technically, they could be teleported to any part of the world, you know? So maybe they just... the waves move around like storms. They appear in certain areas, and they could appear in Shield Frieden, maybe... But then they'd have to, like, travel all the way back, you know? I don't think it teleports them back. I could be wrong, but... I don't know. Interesting thought that I just had right there. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I'll skim through the episode like I tend to do at the end of these. See if there's anything I missed real fast. And then, uh... We can... Jump into... Or... End it, I guess. <laughs> Then I need to get to editing. Da, 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 da. Just a bunch of the fighting stuff. I talked about a bit. More of Philo getting controlled. Still no reason as to why that happens. We also saw his shield get penetrated for the first time, which was scary. Broke some of his armor which was manifested by his shield. I'm assuming that we'll be able to come back. 
I don't think it's broken forever. You know, it's not like he went and bought it or something. It's like magic manifesting itself. I don't know. I could be wrong, but... But yeah, the, the old lady adventurer survived. That's cool. She was... She was cool. And the, the whole King Delio. I love that bit. Like, my favorite part of the episode is now for me just wrecking the king. <laughs> the lady that I had no idea what she was up to. Conversation between the king and guilty. Miney being angry. Yeah, I mean, I think I pretty much covered most of the stuff that matters. Yeah. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I think I'm going to end it here for this one. I don't have much more to say. I'm looking forward to seeing where the story goes from here and, uh, and see what their class upgrades do. I wonder if there'll be any visual upgrades or if it'll only be, like, power. But if he, even if it is just power, I'd love to see what kind of, like, abilities they possibly get because of that and everything. But I can't wait to see more. So... We just need to keep watching and come back next time and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying my content. You can also check out my Patreon. There's a link in the description for that. And you guys can uh, get access to early access. See the next episode if you want to. Or the next couple. I think I'm a couple episodes ahead on Patreon right now, in fact. Um... And uh, there's also full length on there if you want to watch the whole episode with me. If I cut out your favorite part, you know, you'll be able to see all the bits, you know. So, yeah, guys, once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.